Have you ever wondered how and by whom the television, which occupies a large place in our lives, is a must for most of us? In this article, I will share with you the information about the invention of television. Television is an important source of information and of course entertainment that we can be informed about what is happening in the world as soon as possible. In America, people spend an average of six hours a day just in front of television. How would people spend time and what would they do before television, which now guides our life and social life, was invented? We do not need to go back to very old dates to find the answer to this question, because television was invented in 1923 and our country was started to be used in 1972. The television name is derived from the Greek words tele remote, and Latin visio see, and means see from afar. The television was invented in 1923 by John Logie Baird in the town of Hastings, England, and the first image was broadcast again by Baird in 1926. Television history goes back about 80 years ago. Born on August 13, 1888 in Hellingsburg, Scotland, John Logie Baird was a very keen kid on electricity. It illuminated the whole house with electricity from the oil-powered generator in the back garden of his house. This house is also the only house in the city that is illuminated in the evening. Baird, whose curiosity about electricity increased day by day, was able to talk to his friends outside by building a telephone switchboard in his house. Although it has a very limited capacity, it was not something everyone could achieve by setting up and operating such a power line at the age of 12. Continuing his education at Glasgow and Western Scotland Technical College, Baird graduated from here as an electrical engineer. Later, Baird continued his education at the University of Glasgow and applied to work in the army, having to interrupt his education during the First World War. However, his application was not accepted due to health problems. He then found a job at the electricity company in Clyde Valley. Baird, who worked here for a while, had to quit the job again due to health problems. Later, after working in a few jobs, he returned to his hometown Sussex in 1922 and started repairing. Here, he stayed alone with himself in an environment free of confusion and started working on the idea of carrying the image and sound he dreamed electronically. At first, Baird, who tries to do something with a simple sewing needle, bicycle lamp and a piece of tin, continues to work with increasing excitement on this idea, which is very pale to people. When he realizes that he cannot achieve much with the impossibilities he has, he moves to Soho where he can reach technological facilities more easily and establishes a laboratory here. Here, he manages to operate the device consisting of a sewing needle, cut cardboard and biscuit box, which he placed on a tea box and called televisor. The success of Baird, who received the first television patent of the history on June 25, 1925, was soon received with great interest and for the first time he introduced his invention, which he called televisor, to the Royal Institute on January 26, 1928. Attempts to transfer the image electronically also result, and a year later it manages to perform the first image transfer. In this way, he launched the first television station in 1929 and started to make television broadcasts by agreeing with the BBC, which broadcasts at that time. Broadcasting in a regionally limited area in the first place, the BBC officially begins broadcasting in the United States and England in 1930. Broadcasting with the size of 20,000 people in London, John Logie Baird has reached the peak of his career. John Logie Baird, who died on June 14, 1946, laid the foundations of the first known television. Later on, the electromagnetic system of the television was changed by Philo Taylor Farnsworth and played a big role in becoming a tube TV used today. But as one of the inventors of television, John Logie Baird will always continue to be mentioned. The mechanical television Baird invented contained many moving parts. Farnsworth worked hard to realize the dream of a fully electronic television, and Farnsworth's image dissector camera tube managed to transfer its first image in 1927. However, the television still used a carbon spring lamp for lighting and contained mechanical parts. Farnsworth found a solution to this in 1929 and invented television with no mechanical parts. Philo Taylor Farnsworth patented this great invention in 1930. In November 1936, Farnsworth moved to England and made a deal with John Logie Baird's company. 
In this way, the BBC television system was renewed and they had an image dissector camera. This camera has a highly developed structure and electron replicator was added to the televisions, resulting in high contrast images. Farnsworth made the image dissector television camera work at the age of 21, where he solved his working principle at the age of 14. The camera technology invented by Farnsworth has inspired scuba CRT, cathode ray tube, displays. It was thanks to Farnsworth that the real motion picture on the television was made and it made a great contribution to the creation of scuba screens. Therefore, the inventor of the television used today is also known as Philo Taylor Farnsworth.